Hello, Miss Carmen. How are you, Mrs. Oriana? You're the very first one this evening. But your microphone is mute. I cannot hear you right now. Ouch. No, you are the first. I am I am the second. Now I have the microphone off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but for me it doesn't really count because I'm I'm the teacher. I'm supposed to be here. <laughs> and the women power. And women it's power. Always, yes. always, teacher. Always. Correct. Women always come first in here. I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. It's Thursday. One more day. Uh, and it's, you know, the last day of the week, at least for classes. <laughs> All right. So, Ms. Ulma, hello, Mr. Francisco. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. All right. Um, we're going to start with this um, short explanation about the future with be going to. And then uh, we will, let's see, continue working on the listening activity that we studied yesterday. Vamos a hacer un poquito de explicación gramatical. Luego continuamos con la cuestión del, del listening o del audio que comenzamos el día de ayer. Así que, and let's start with, with you, everyone. All right. Let's start with you. Okay. So let me just one second over here. Okay. One moment. All right, so I just muted your microphone. So in the in case you want to speak, uh, you just need to activate your microphone. So you see the grammar is going to, right? Be going to, right? Um, so I have some examples over here. I have uh, rule, rule A, rule B, C, and some other ones over here. And I, and I also have the exercises in here, but we're not gonna cover everything. This is just, uh, let's see, just to practice. Okay, so what I have for you is I'm going to do something, right? I have already decided to do it, or I, or, or I intend to do it. If you already have a plan or have something in mind, and you know that, for example, this coming Saturday, you are going to go to the supermarket because on Saturdays when you do the grocery shopping, so you have to use this structure. I'm going to, right? or she's going to, my family is going to. If you have a trip planned, like let's say that you, you have been planning to go to uh, your uh, parents' house, for example, and due to the COVID-19, you haven't able to do so, digamos que se tiene un plan, y por el COVID no lo he podido eh, concretar, but you already uh, have decided to do it, ¿verdad? Ya lo ha decidido con antelación. You have to use this structure. All right, and, and then we have an example over here. So we have the question, are you going to eat anything? Vas a comer algo? And maybe you're mad, verdad? Husband to the wife or wife to the husband, verdad? El esposo enojado o la esposa enojada. O no sé, or, or maybe the children or the son or daughter, you know, a teenager. It's like, no, I'm not hungry. Se está muriendo del hambre, pero dice, no, no tengo. <laughs> no voy a comer, right? So I'm not going, I'm not, I'm not hungry, right? So. I'm not going to eat. So you can say that, right? So um, I hear Sarah won the lottery. What is she going to do with the money? Escuché que Sarah ganó la lotería, ¿verdad? ¿Qué va a hacer ella con, con el dinero? And maybe Sarah has already made some plans to pay her debts, uh, to, let's see, get a house, buy a new car, maybe, you see? She's going to buy a new car, probably, right? Probably. Entonces, lo que les estoy diciendo es que lo ocupamos para algo que usted ya ha estado planeando o lo planeó. You know, for future plans. I'm just going to make a quick phone call. Can't you wait for me? Maybe at uh, 12 p.m. every day, you have to call you. I mean, I don't know, your house to, to, to check on, on everybody at home. De repente usted llama la, a, a su casa y dice, mire, llegué el trabajo. I'm here already, so I'm safe. So that's something that you have already arranged or planned to do. And the last one before uh, 
I give you the, the chance to speak, Miss Mrs. Oriana. So this cheese smells horrible. I'm not going to eat it. You, you see there, you decide not to do it, right? And you use this expression. So go ahead, please, Miss Carmen. Yes, uh, could you tell me the difference between will and going to? Yeah, with will is more like it's spontaneous. All right, for example, somebody is knocking on the door and then you say, I'll get it, all right? I'll open the door for you, okay? And it's just a simple future. You don't really have to make plans uh, and um, you just use a future expression in there. I'll take a shower right now. You say, okay, yeah, I think I'm, I'm sweating right now. I'll take a shower. But if you have already, let's see, plan, and then you have a specific time in which you take, take a shower, let's see, every day, you say, okay, at six, I'm going to take a shower. So that's the difference, all right? But in reality, in reality, native speakers, they use going to and will, uh, let's see, similarly, all right? But I can assure you, based on my experience, that going to is used mostly for plans mm -hmm. or arrangements, okay? And to make predictions as well, right? So you see that the sky is, uh, is dark and you see a lot of uh, clouds in there. So automatically you think or the state it's going to rain, right? It's going to rain, okay? Bueno, espero no estarlos confundiendo, pero así para brevemente, Ocupamos esto para cuestiones que usted ya las ha decidido. Pueden ser cosas bien planificadas o algo más así como más fijo. Digamos que usted dice, ok, la otra semana no voy a llevar el carro al trabajo. So I'm not going to drive next week. All right. También está el otro futuro solo con el ING, ¿verdad? También existe para algo más, más corto, ¿verdad? Futuro más cercano, ¿verdad? Puede ser. Uh, pues al final de cuentas, y eso lo digo en español, what matters ¿verdad? What matters, lo que importa es to use the structure correctly when you speak, when you write, and be careful to communicate what you really want to say y comunicar lo que en realidad usted quiere decir. ¿Verdad? Puede ocupar el futuro con el ING, ¿verdad? I'm doing the laundry tomorrow, ¿verdad? Mañana va a lavar la ropa. Okay. O también puede decir, I'm going to do the laundry, ¿verdad? Porque en realidad está bien planificado. O, o, o algo así como espontáneo que se le acaba de ocurrir, I'll, I'll do the laundry tomorrow. Dice usted un futuro así como de la camisa, se lo sacó, ¿verdad? De la manga. All right, just like that. That's the way I see and that's the way I use it. But sometimes you really need to think like, okay, I'm going to use going to or the ING or, or the other one. No, no, no. It's just uh, use certain, uh, let's see, um, sentences. But, it, you know, depending on what you really want to say, uh, you, you're going to use this, all right? But for plans, I can guarantee you, everyone, that uh, be going to is used for, for, for plans, okay? Para hacer planes o planes que usted ya decidió, que lo va a realizar en el futuro, se ocupa esa estructura. Lo demás es por añadidura, all right? For example, take a look at this. I'm doing and I'm going to do, right? So what's the difference between I'm doing and I'm going to do? which are the two expressions for the future. So I'm doing, it is already fixed or arranged. For example, you have arranged to go somewhere or meet somebody. I'm leaving next week, so I booked my flight. Pero eso es como un futuro más cercano, yo sí se los aseguro. What time are you meeting Emily this evening? O sea, es algo más cercano, no es un plan, sino que algo como un arreglo que usted hizo, algo fijo, ¿verdad? Entonces, y ahí donde le decía que el going to y el I'm doing, se traslapan, ¿verdad? Entonces, I'm, I'm going to do something. I've decided to do it. Maybe I arranged to do it. Maybe not. Your shoes are dirty. So, what's the difference? En el I'm doing, usted involucra a otras personas. Y con el going to, es decisión propia. So, you take the conscious decision to either do something or not to do it. So, one more time over here. El ejemplo que nos dan aquí, ¿verdad? Pues voy a partir la siguiente semana. So, I'm leaving next week. I booked my flight. So what time are you meeting Emily this evening? ¿verdad? Entonces acá usted tuvo que no sé, pedir, trabajo, pedir permiso en su trabajo or because maybe you have a, a business trip to, to, uh, to take, right? Or maybe you have already uh, uh, talked to your boss or something like that. 
Entonces puede ser algo fijo. Eh, y otra diferencia es que quizás usted hizo los arreglos o no, ¿verdad? Al final usted lo decidió, ¿verdad? Es una decisión consciente. Dice, your shoes are dirty. Yes, I know, I'm going to clean them. Pues, o sea, fue su decisión de tener los, los zapatos sucios. O usted ya sabe que están sucios. So they're dirty. Y usted dice, ok, I'm going to clean them right now. All right? So lo, lo, solamente está diciendo algo en el futuro. Y vuelvo a lo demás que les decía, ¿verdad? Las cuestiones del futuro. Eh, las reglas se rompen entre ellos mismos. Pero siempre hay como algo específico en lo que usted puede distinguir cuando utilizar una gramática. Por ejemplo, con el will se conoce por un futuro eh, simple donde usted decide en el momento, digamos, al get the door, como que no hay un pacto signific o algo significativo, ¿verdad? Que, que puede pasar. All right? O que no es seguro que suceda. Por ejemplo, usted puede decir, I will buy pupusas tomorrow. Ok, o maybe I will buy the pan francés. All right? So you don't know, right? You don't know, okay? But if you say, okay, um, I'm eating pupusas tomorrow because maybe you talk to your wife or your husband that uh, uh, you're gonna, that you're eating pupusas tomorrow, right? Okay, es como que, okay, no me prepare almuerzo, desayuno, perdón. So don't make dinner for me, all right? Y con el otro futuro es como también usted lo va a decidir, ¿verdad? Entonces, al final, el I'm doing, el I'm going to, se pueden ocupar independientemente de la misma forma. Right? Take a look at this. Uh, I decided to clean them, but I haven't arranged this with anybody. I don't want to stay here. Tomorrow I'm going to look for somewhere else to stay. No me quiero quedar acá, ¿verdad? Dice, mañana voy a buscar un lugar donde poder quedarme. No involucra a otra persona en sí, ¿verdad? Que va, usted le va a pedir permiso a alguien, ¿verdad? De, de hacer las cosas, sino que usted lo expresa, lo externa y dice yo fulano de tal, fulana de tal. All right. Any questions so far about this, my friends? Any questions so far? Okay, so I guess no questions. So compare. Comparemos estos dos enunciados. Decimos, I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. What does this mean? I, I don't know my schedule plans. So you know, no sé qué voy a hacer mañana. I don't know what I'm, what I'm going to do about the problem. No sé qué voy a hacer, hacer con el problema. I haven't decided what to do. Entonces, si se fija, al final es como la misma connotación, pero en el I'm doing, que es el mismo futuro que ya vimos, usted no sabe cómo resolver esto, ¿verdad? Si, no sé qué hacer, ¿verdad? Mañana. All right? I don't know my schedule plans, porque usted no ha hecho ningún arreglo ni nada, ni, no sabe, pues. I don't know what I'm going to do about the problem. Usted no ha decidido cómo solventar el problema. Okay. Pero in the end, my friends, uh, both are used to talk about the future. Um, and uh, I'm going to is to use, um, I mean, to talk about plans. All right. And doing is for the near future. And for things that affect other people as well. Okay. Bottom line, así, ¿verdad? Para simplificarle las cosas. Eh, ok, otra forma de, de, de conocer al futuro, ¿verdad? Quizás para no extendernos tanto es, you can also say that something is going to happen in the future. For example, the man isn't looking where he's going, ¿verdad? Este tipo o esta persona, he's using the cell phone, right? He's not like looking at The, the front. So the man is looking where he's going. O sea, no se fija para dónde va caminando. So he's going to walk into the wall, ¿verdad? Entonces va a chocar con la pared. All right. Entonces you're making a prediction, ¿verdad? Este es otro uso, right? Para este futuro. You make predictions, all right? You make predictions for this. Uh, now listen to this. When we say that something is going to happen, the situation now makes this clear. The man is walking towards the wall now, so he can see that he's going to walk into it. Prácticamente le dice, hay evidencia. So there's evidence that tells you what's going to happen. So you see that the, the sky is dark. You say, most likely it's going to rain. It's going to rain. Or um, you see a car and the red light in the traffic light and the car speeds up instead of uh, pressing the brakes. 
you know that something is going to happen, right? So an, an accident is going to happen. Usted mira a alguien y está la luz anaranjada y le mete la pata en lugar de frenar, usted dice, este ya, se, ya se va a dar, ¿verdad? Con otro. <laughs> okay, and that happens very often. That happens very often. Si usted va llegando, estamos viendo la cuestión de, de las reglas de going to, pero así en cuestiones simples lo ocupa usted para un plan que usted ya lo decidió, se va de viaje, va a cambiar de trabajo, cuestiones así. ¿Verdad? Entonces, para que no nos confundamos. Y también se ocupa para hacer predicciones cuando hay evidencia clara. Okay. So, and that's what we have. So, some more examples. Look at those black clouds. It's going to rain. ¿Verdad? Mire o fíjese o mira las, las, las nubes oscuras que están, ¿verdad? Va a llover. We can see the clouds now. ¿Por qué? Why? Because we can see the clouds over there. Ahí están, ¿verdad? Las, las nubes. I feel terrible. I think I'm going to be sick. I feel terrible now. Y ahorita en estas circunstancias, you know, in, in these circumstances or in this context under COVID-19, if you start feeling sick, like, like you get fever, you, you have a uh, sore throat, right? You don't uh, taste anything, right? So food tastes horrible, all right? So you, you cannot smell anything. Entonces, si usted pierde el olfato, lo que han dicho, no, no, I'm not an expert over here, so Mrs. Portillo is an expert over here. Uh, si empieza a tener como síntomas, usted dice, me va a dar COVID, dice. <laughs> All right. <laughs> ¿Verdad? Ni Dios quiera. By the way, uh, yesterday I got the second uh, doses of COVID-19, of the uh, vaccine. All right. Ayer recibí la segunda dosis de la, de la vacuna, por cierto. Solo se los comento. Por si me miran, ¿verdad? <laughs> If I faint, si me desmayo o algo. <laughs> All right. Just kidding, ¿verdad? Y Miss, Miss Portillo knows what I'm talking about over here. But so far, I don't have any... No se preocupe, teacher. Ahí le mando el 911. <laughs> 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 que me lo traigan para Santa Ana. <laughs> sí, ¿verdad? <laughs> Ahorita solamente, como dicen los compañeros, solo hambre y sueño me ha dado. Eso. <laughs> sueño, no bastante. Ajá. Uh -huh. That's what they say. Fíjense que la primera dosis sí sentí así como fatiga, pero ahorita no he sentido mayor cosa. A las 72 horas. Es el... A las 72. 24, 72 horas. Ahorita tengo 24, un poquito más. Mañana serían ya como el 48. De aquí al sábado. Dolor de cabeza fuerte. <laughs> Ajá. We'll see what happens over there. So when you see the symptoms and one by one, they tell you or they confirm that you're getting sick. Usted se está enfermando. And that most likely, lo más probable is, is that you uh, have COVID-19, usted dice, I'm going to be sick, right? Me voy a enfermar. Okay. Let me just one second over here. Um, esto es otra cosa, así que no los quiero confundir por ahí. All right. Now. Now that we uh, have cover and review or study, uh, repasamos, cubrimos la cuestión de gramática. Let's go back to the exercise that we were doing yesterday. Regresemos al ejercicio que estuvimos haciendo el día de ayer. All right. Which is this one. And as a reminder, uh, this gentleman is interviewing or is going to interview these four people, ¿verdad? Esta persona. And by entrevistar a estas cuatro personas. And then you have Jackie, Robert, Kevin, and Michelle. And the question to you was, la pregunta para ustedes fue, ok, uh, anticipese, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es lo que van a hacer estas personas? So write your guesses in the chart. Y usted iba a escribir, so you were supposed to write over here. Maybe Michelle is going to go to the gym because she has uh, clothes, you know, to exercise a sweater, pants, and then it's 5.30 p.m. It's las cinco y media de la tarde, ¿verdad? Some of you go to the gym around 4.30 or 5 a.m., which is the opposite, all right? So, and this gentleman, uh, his name is Kevin. You may say, so he's going to use the cell phone, va a ocupar el teléfono, ¿verdad? Y va a estar ahí, I don't know, wasting time. And this, this gentleman uh, is 5.30 p.m., He's going to uh, go back home, right? Maybe, or he's going to take a bus. ¿verdad? Va a abordar un bus o algo, usted dice, este señor. 
And then Jackie is like, okay, so she's going to go to the supermarket, right? Esas son quizás algunas de, de las, de, de lo que usted se anticipó, ¿verdad? Entonces, para este caso. But now, let's listen. Listen to the interview. Escuchemos la entrevista. What are the people really going to do? ¿Qué van a hacer ellos en realidad? And now you have to complete the chart. I will play it twice. And then you have to tell me what they are really going to do for real, right? Entonces, escuchemos el audio, por favor, para darle continuidad a esto. Tenemos, let's see right now, like 20 minutes more. Um, like 20 minutes more to, to talk about the future over here. All right. So here we go. Me avisan, por favor, si se escucha. Page 74, exercise 5. Yeah, I'm going to pause it. Hold on. Yes, teacher. All right. Let me check the volume. All right. Yeah, I have more volume now. And let me go back over here. One, two, three. Page 74, exercise 5. Listening. Evening plans. Part B. Listen to the interview. What are the people really going to do? Complete the chart. Good evening. I'm Al Rivers with KXQ News Radio. I'm talking with people waiting for the bus tonight. I'm finding out how they're going to spend their evening. What's your name? Michelle. I think you're going to go to the gym tonight. No, not tonight. I'm going to meet a friend. We're going to run together in the park. And what's your name? Kevin. Are you going home now, Kevin? No, not right now. First, I'm going to my friend's house. He has some new video games. Oh, I see. So you're going to play video games this evening. Yeah, I am. Can I ask your name? Sure. My name's Robert. Are you going to do anything interesting tonight? Well, my friend Chris is going to have a party, but I'm going to work at home. I have all my work right here in my briefcase. So you can't go to the party. You're going to work tonight. That's right. And what's your name? I'm Jackie. Do you have any plans for this evening? It's my sister's birthday tomorrow, so I'm going to bake a cake tonight. That's nice of you. Are you going to give her a party? Not really, but she's going to come over for dinner tomorrow night. Okay. So that's the first time. So uh, if you're not taking notes... You should take notes. Deberíamos de tomar notas. I'm going to do the same over here. But briefly, ¿verdad? Así como brevemente, no vamos a copiar todo lo que dicen, sino que palabras claves. So, keywords. All right. So, let me play this again. And um, we take it from there. All right. So, one, two, three. Page 74, exercise. Hold on. It's five. Listening. Evening plans. Part B. Listen to the interview. What are the people really... Ah, sorry. My bad. Complete the chart. Good evening. I'm Al Rivers with KXQ News Radio. I'm talking with people waiting for the bus tonight. I'm finding out how they're going to spend their evening. What's your name? Michelle. I think you're going to go to the gym tonight. No, not tonight. I'm going to meet a friend. We're going to run together in the park. And what's your name? Kevin. Are you going home now, Kevin? No, not right now. First, I'm going to my friend's house. He has some new video games. Oh, I see. So you're going to play video games this evening? Yeah, I am. Can I ask your name? Sure. My name's Robert. Are you going to do anything interesting tonight? Well, my friend Chris is going to have a party, but I'm going to work at home. I have all my work right here in my briefcase. So you can't go to the party. You're going to work tonight. That's right. 
And what's your name? I'm Jackie. Do you have any plans for this evening? It's my sister's birthday tomorrow, so I'm going to bake a cake tonight. That's nice of you. Are you going to give her a party? Not really, but she's going to come over for dinner tomorrow night. Okay. I'm just taking notes over here. With her sister. Okay. So we have Michelle, Kevin, Robert, and Jackie. And these gentlemen from the news uh, radio uh, asking questions about their plans over there. All right. And uh, I have uh, Michelle. So let me ask you so, what is she going to do? Can somebody help me, please? Michelle? All right, so can somebody help me with what Michelle is going to do? Anybody over here, please? And I'm going to write the answers over there, All right? So I need your help, my friends, okay? I'm not looking at your screen, so I, I, I can see your faces right now. Si levanta la mano, no lo no alcanzo a ver. Tal vez puedo ocupar acá. Michelle. Yes. No sé si será así, pero yo escuché que dijo, uh, she going to meeting friends. She's going to meet a, a new friend, correct? But there's also something else here, correct? She's going to meet, all right, a friend. And what else, uh, Flor? Okay, okay, that's okay. All right, thank you. So anybody else, please? Uh, she's going to run in the park with her uh with her friend right uh, her friend correct <clears throat> all right and run in in a in the park all right let me just make this bigger thank you sir yeah take it easy mr raul all right <laughs> don't worry about it well we want we want to have you again next level <laughs> all right maybe so maybe yes yeah, sir all right hold on please All right, so what about Kevin? What is he going to do? Right. Anybody else? He's going to games play. He's going to play, play video games, right? Play video games, correct, correct. With a, with a friend. Correct, play video games with a friend, right. Yeah, that's correct. Then Robert, yeah, Robert is not very happy. You can see his face in there, right? <laughs> yeah, poor Robert. Uh, he's, he's work to home. He's going he to work at home. He's, he's going, going to work at home. Correct, sir. Yes, he's going to work at home. That's right. So work at home. Sorry about the capitals. Work at home. And we have the other lady in there, right? And uh, her name is Jackie. So what is she going to do, Jackie? Nobody. Somebody else, please? Or yes, uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Jackie is going to it's going to bake a cake because it's the sister's birthday. Correct. Mm -hmm. For uh, her sister. All right. Because for her sister's birthday. Right. Just like that. Right. So let's see. According to the notes and the listening over here. So I just wrote the verbs and then the uh, some information like the context in here or the complement but in reality if you want to talk about the future you have to say michelle is going to meet a friend and run in the park kevin is going to play video games with a friend period right punto right and then the robert is not happy at all verdad no está para nada contento 
because he's going to work at home. His friend is going to have a party, but he's going to work at home. Alguien, otro van a estar de fiesta, ¿verdad? but no uh, Mr. Robert. And Jackie is going to, she is a good sister. So therefore, por lo tanto, she's going to bake a cake for her sister because it's his, her sister's birthday, right? And she's going to have dinner with her tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, everyone? All right. I got to move forward because uh, there's more the information about be going to that we need to practice in here. All right. So let me stop sharing this screen and I will share the other one with you. So this one, those are the answers. All right. You may write them down. Pay. And let's continue over here. So now take a look at here. Conversation, have a good Valentine's Day. So that's the context over there. So have a good Valentine's Day. So listen and practice the conversation. So you have, yeah, believe it or not, but in the United States, people are named that way, Mona, right? Yeah, like a monkey, right? That's the name. And then the, like Mona Lisa, right? So you have Tyler. So the two are, are having a conversation in there. What's the occasion or the celebration is Valentine's Day. Okay, so here we go. And the name of the conversation is how a good Valentine's Day, but like a tengo un buen día del amor y la amistad, like we say here in Spanish. Page 75, exercise eight, conversation. Have a good Valentine's Day. Listen and practice. So Tyler, do you have any plans for Valentine's Day? I do. I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you oh, sorry. going to eat? At Laguna's. It's her favorite restaurant. How fancy. She's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant. I'm going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. All right, so that's a, sh a short conversation, but I would say it's a good conversation. All right. Por aquí, me puede dejar aquí en esta... Hold aquí. on. Eh, y... sí. All right, sorry about that. So, uh, conversation, have a good Valentine's Day. We have Mona, and then she states, so Tyler, do you have any plans for Valentine's Day? And then Tyler replies, I do. I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? What are, your, what are you going to eat? Or you can also say, what are you going to eat? At Lagunas, it's her favorite restaurant. How fancy, verdad? Entonces, que, 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 lujo, que lujo, verdad? Entonces, fancy es algo lujoso, right? O que lujoso. She's going to like that, or she's going to like that. How about you? ¿Y tú qué tal? ¿O usted qué tal? What are you going to do? Or what are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant. I'm going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun, but that's when I divertido. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks, you too. All right. So what I'm telling you, everyone, is you can say I'm going to or you can say I'm gonna and then the verb. So it's up to you. When you say it, you can say I'm going to formally or you can say I'm gonna. Right. I'm gonna take I'm going I'm gonna like. Right, she's gonna like. Uh, I'm not gonna go to a restaurant. I'm I'm, I'm gonna go to uh, to a dance. Right. Entonces hay que tener mucho cuidado. Si usted lo ocupa de forma informal, le va a quitar el tú, verdad? No va a ocupar el tú. No va a decir I'm going to. Perdón, no va a decir I'm gonna to go. No, no, no. O no va a decir um, she's go she's gonna to like. No, she's gonna like. All right. So. Um, can I have two volunteers, please? That can help us practice this in front of the class, you know, just to model the conversation. And then we're going to move with a real, uh, with a longer and more interesting conversation. Dos voluntarios, por favor. Después vamos a hacer este ejercicio que se llama 
summer vacation, which is a great, like como los que ponemos que están, you have the questions and the actions and you send the score. That's the one we're going to do in a second. Ya lo vamos a hacer. So Mr. Elwin, you're going to be Tyler. So I'm looking for the lady right now. Yo, teacher. All right. Sonia. Thank you so much. All right. So you start, please, Sonia. Uh, so Taylor, do, do you have any plans for Valentine's Day? I do. I'm going to take my girlfriend uh, for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to eat? At Lagunas. It's her favorite restaurant. How fancy is she going to like that? How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm going. Well, I'm not gonna to gonna go to a restaurant. I'm going to go to a dance. Dance. So I um, Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks, you too, sir. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. So the best advice that I can give you everyone is if you want to say gonna do it. If you want to say going to, that's okay. But use only sí, one sir. form. Yes. Me voy a desconectar un momento porque ya llegué a mi casa, por eso no tengo imagen, estoy de mi celular, pero me voy a conectar de la computadora, solo unos minutos. Okay, okay. Understood. Thanks. All right. Not a problem. So all I'm saying is, usted va a decidir, so you have to take the decision to say, uh, como cuando dice Tyler acá en la segunda línea, uh, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner, ¿verdad? Voy a llevarla a comer, ¿verdad? Entonces usted puede decir, I'm going to, o va a decir, I'm gonna take, right? I'm gonna take. Pero acostúmbrese a ocupar, digamos, una, una estructura ahorita que estamos aprendiendo y después usted puede ocupar cualquiera, ¿verdad? Entonces, o puede combinar. It depends who you're, who you're speaking to, right? Who you're speaking with, all right? So here we go. So now there's this li general listening quiz about summer vacations in there, all right? And um, this is the last thing that we will do uh, uh, about the future. Or, you know, let me double check over here because I really want you to practice. Este va a ser el primer ejercicio que vamos a practicar, ¿verdad? Quizás el único del futuro esta noche de conversación. So let me just one second. Let me share with you the access to this uh, listening over there. En estos instantes le voy a compartir el acceso para esto. So just one second. And here we go. All right, yeah, there you go. So click on the, the uh, access that I just shared with you. Okay. And um, I will share the screen with you in a second. Vamos a compartir pantalla en un instante. One moment, please. All right. So let's start with the uh, introduction over here. Vamos a comenzar, ¿verdad? Preparando el terreno, ¿verdad? Para el listening, eh, para que después no nos, no nos cueste demasiado. Si usted es el tipo de persona que se fija, ¿verdad? El nivel de los listenings o los audios que les pongo, ¿verdad? This is an intermediate one. And uh, on the count of three, I, I will share the screen and then we we'll take it further. All right? So, eh, the level of this one is intermediate. El nivel de este, de este audio es intermedio, which is the level that you have, my friends. The topic is vacation plans. And the speakers, as, as always, man and woman. And the length is almost two minutes in there. So pre-listening exercise. Preparemos el terreno. Many people travel to new places during their summer vacations. Some go on cruise, cruises, right? Other people visit the um, beach. However, other people like to spend time near home and just relax where they are. Algunas personas viajan, otros se quedan en casa. Es la idea principal que les estoy compartiendo. How about you? ¿Y qué tal ustedes? How about you? Esta expresión, ¿verdad? So this, is this expression, how about you? It's like you say something, right? And then you ask the next person or your friend. So you, you, tú qué tal? Like when you go to a restaurant, you order something and then you ask your partner, 
or your uh, friend. So what about you? Usted qué tal? Qué va a ordenar? No de usted qué tal? Cómo está, verdad? That's something else. So what are some activities you like to do during your vacations? ¿Cuáles son algunas actividades que a usted le gusta realizar en sus vacaciones? Una expresión idiomática, es decir, un dicho es lo siguiente, ¿verdad? Idioms, drive someone up the wall. ¿verdad? Esta expresión es enojar a alguien, molestarlo. Como decimos acá, eh, creo que sí se puede decir, ¿verdad? Irritarlo, encachimbarlo, ¿verdad? Todo ese léxico que poseemos por acá. Y ahí ya va subiendo de nivel. Ah, o enojarlo mucho, ¿verdad? Entonces hacer que reviente, colmar la paciencia. Eso es drive someone up the wall. Literal es como empujar a alguien en contra de la pared. Right? So my brother kept talking in his sleep during our vacation and that drove me up the wall. El, el hermano hablaba dormido. Ok. Entonces, y eso lo hizo enojar. ¿Verdad? Entonces le colmó la paciencia. You don't have to memorize this. All right? It's not necessary. But at least you need to know this one, all right, to understand uh, the listening better. Hit the road. This one, yes, you have to learn. De hecho, este, este idiom ya se los había mostrado. To begin or start you, your travel, ¿verdad? ¿verdad? Eh, hit the road. Hey, we need to hit the road before 5 a.m. ¿Verdad? Partir, ¿verdad? Comenzar un viaje. Hit the road at five, uh, before 5 a.m. If you want to arrive at mom's house by noon, ¿verdad? Necesitamos, ¿verdad? Comenzar, ¿verdad? Caminemos, ¿verdad? Comencemos, andemos. That, that's what you uh, refer to when you say hit the road. Uh, let me give you a better translation to that one. Estamos ahorita preparando el terreno para lo que viene del, del listening que ya lo vamos a poner. No lo ponga todavía porque yo se los quiero reproducir, por favor. Hit the road. Let's see here. There's also a famous song, all right? But I'm not supposed to say the name, all right? Uh, let's see. Ponerse en camino, poner, ponerse en marcha, significa hear the road, para darles una frase así más, más certera, all right? So, okay. So now let's start with the listening and then we have the auctions. Let's read the auctions over here. ¿verdad? Leamos las opciones para que no nos perdamos. Eso vale mucho cuando usted hace un listening. Eso siempre se lo repito. So the woman wants to walk along the river, go to the lake, visit the city park. ¿Qué quiere? Caminar a la orilla del río y luego lo demás usted ya lo entiende, ¿verdad? On Monday. Number two, the man doesn't want to go because he... Is worried about the sun, is busy with work, wants to see a movie instead. No quiere asistir por varias razones, ¿verdad? Porque se puede quemar por el sol, está atareado y quiere ver una película. O quiere ver una película. On Tuesday, the woman suggests visiting an art museum, going to a bike ride, driving in the mountains. Okay. The next one. On Wednesday, the woman... Uh, to aquí falta algo. The woman is going to or will catch a movie, go fishing, have a barbecue. Como ver una película o ponerse el tanto una película. On Friday or Saturday, the woman would like to, ¿verdad? Le gustaría play games at home, go shopping for clothing or have a nice picnic. All right? And so, and these are the actions. I'm going to play this. You can take notes or do it in your cell phones already. Usted lo hace de una sola vez en su teléfono si quiere. Así salimos de esto un poquito más rápido. All right? And here we go. Ready? Are we ready? Okay. All right. So here we go. Once you finish, please share with me your score as a DM or in the WhatsApp group. One, two, three. Go. Hey, hey, why don't we do something fun next week? We have time off. We never do anything fun. Well, I don't know. What do you have in mind? Well, I was thinking like, okay. Like so, the library? The library is <laughs> what? The library is boring. <laughs> we can do that anytime. Listen, how about on Monday we go down to the lake and go swimming at the lake? 
I don't know. I think it's going to be hot that day, and I might get a sunburn. You know Come how tender on. tender my skin is? Wim. <laughs> we can do th- Okay, so Monday, we'll go down to the lake. Tuesday, we're going to go mountain biking. Um, it's supposed to be cloudy, so your tender skin shouldn't get burned. <laughs> well, that sounds great, but I'd probably crash like I did the last time and break my arm or something. You didn't break your arm last time. You won't break it this time. Come on. we'll go. So Monday, we'll go to the lake. Tuesday, we're going to go mountain biking. Okay. Um, Wednesday, I was thinking we could go fishing. Remember the last time we went? I caught like 10 huge fish. Yeah, I remember. And the only thing I caught was an old boot. And you won't ever, ever let me forget that one. So if we do anything, I'd like to enjoy it. Well, okay then. Um, what do you suggest? Well, all right. Well, we could stay home and, uh, you know, pop some popcorn and play like Scrabble or another board game. You know, something like that. What? You know, I like board games, but we can do that anytime. Why don't we go, listen, Friday or Saturday, we'll do all those things we talked about. And then Friday or Saturday, we'll go on a picnic to the mountains. You won't break your arm. (laughs) You won't get sunburned. It'll be really pleasant. Let's do that, okay? Well, come on. Let's uh, do it. It'll be fun. Okay, we'll give it a try. Good. Okay, so as you can see, it's the same people that you have been listening to previously. Es la misma persona, la misma persona que han hablado en los distintos uh, listenings. But this time, the main difference is that they speak really, really fast. And it's, I would say it's a little bit difficult to understand what they're saying. So that's why I'm going to play this for the second time so you can take the quiz. Remember, this is a challenge, and uh, don't worry about the grade or the score. What matters is the practice. Pero lo que importa es practicar. Remember that this is an intermediate level, so we are raising the bar. Estamos incrementando un poquito más de nivel. All right? So, and that's what you are supposed to do, right? No quedarnos con el mismo nivel de listening, sino que ir aumentándolo un poquito más. And the topic is interesting, all right? I, I assure you that one. So I'm playing this for the second and last time. And then I will ask you politely to share the answers with me. Y luego vamos a compartir las, las respuestas. Okay? So one, two, three. Hey, hey, why don't we do something fun next week? We have time off. We never do anything fun. Well, I don't know. What do you have in mind? Well, I was thinking like, okay. Like so- the library? The library is... <laughs> What? The library's boring. <laughs> we can do that anytime. Listen, how about on Monday we go down to the lake and go swimming at the lake? I don't know. I think it's going to be hot that day, and I might get a sunburn. You Come know how tender on. tender my skin is? Wim. <laughs> we can do that. Okay, so Monday we'll go down to the lake. Tuesday we're going to go mountain biking. Um, it's supposed to be cloudy, so your tender skin shouldn't get burned. <laughs> well, that sounds great, but I'd probably crash like I did the last time and break my arm or something. You didn't break your arm last time. You won't break it this time. Come on, we'll go. So Monday we'll go to the lake. Tuesday, we're going to go mountain biking. Okay. Um, Wednesday, I was thinking we could go fishing. Remember the last time we went? I caught like 10 huge fish. Yeah, I remember. And the only thing I caught was an old boot. And you won't ever, ever let me forget that one. So if we do anything, I'd like to enjoy it. Well, okay then. Um, what do you suggest? Well, all right. Well, we could stay home and, uh, you know, pop some popcorn and play like Scrabble or another board game. You know, something like that. What? You know, I like board games, but we can do that anytime. Why don't we go, listen, Friday or Saturday, we'll do all those things we talked about. And then Friday or Saturday, we'll go on a picnic to the mountains. You won't break your arm. (laughs) You won't get sunburned. It'll be really pleasant. Let's do that, okay? Well. Come on. Let's uh, do it. It'll be fun. Okay, we'll give it a try. Good. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that was a hard decision to take, by the way. All right? Going to the mountains or staying home, playing board games. And see here what you have, my friends. All right? So I'm going to ask this in general. I'm not picking anybody in particular. So the woman wants to on Monday. Walk along the river, go to the lake, or visit the city park. A, B, or C? B, go to the lake. Go to the lake, correct. Go down the lake, actually, they say. 
Yeah, it says Monday we go down the lake and go swimming at the lake. Okay. The man doesn't want to go because he is worried about the sun, is busy with work, wants to see a movie instead. A, B, or C. Yeah, anybody can answer over here. Just open your microphone, please, and help me out. You may turn the mano, por favor. So the man doesn't want to go because he? He's worried about the sun. He's worried about the sun, correct. He says, my skin is so tender. If you see here, you know how tender my skin is, right? Like, for example, chicken, you know, if it's tender, it's suave right? Tender. Tender, right? And if I speak like with a tender voice, and I was suave, verdad? Uh, let's see here. Tender. Good translation for that is like, like the voice of, of a mother or from a mother to uh, her baby, right? Tierno. It could be like meat. If it's meat, it's suave, blando, all right? But if it's, let's see, like your skin, ¿verdad? es delicado o sensible, which is the same thing, right? Or if it's like your personality as a person, you, it's tender porque es amable, eh, es dulce o cariñoso. Como les decía, if, if people speak to you in a tender voice, right, because they want to, because they love you maybe, right? Okay, so tender, delicada, right, in that, in that context. So let's continue. Um, so on Tuesday, the woman suggests A, visiting an art museum, B, going for a bike ride, or C, driving in the mountains. This is a tricky question. Mm -hmm. Going for a bike ride. Correct, going for a bike ride. But actually they say going the, uh, for a mountain bike or something, or something like that. They say, um, to go mountain biking, right? Mountain biking, they say, which is the same as going for a uh, bike ride. Okay. Montar en bicicleta, verdad? Pero montañez. And there you have on Wednesday, the woman wants to or suggests. Aquí hay un error, verdad? En la pregunta. Uh, yes. Catch a movie. Go, go, go fishing. fishing. Go fishing. Go fishing, correct. Correct. And they say that they only hatch a, I mean, they, they caught a, a, a 10 huge fish, it says in there, right? Uh, and last time they, they caught a, a boat, right? La última vez una bota se encontraron. <laughs> Así dijeron por ahí. All right. So, and last but not least, on Friday or Saturday, the woman would like to have a nice picnic. Correct. Yeah, have a nice picnic uh, in the mountain, uh, and then they can uh, play the board games that the man is suggesting. Correct. Yes. You see, we'll do all those things we talked about, and then Friday or Saturday, we'll go on a picnic to the mountains. All right. So, and those are the answers in there. So, we're going to go down over here, scroll down to get the, the, uh, the script. All right. Let me stop sharing the screen over here because I don't want to get in trouble and send uh, um, access to this right now in there. And please send your scores to me, please. Si me comparten sus puntajes, your scores in the chat, I would really, you know, appreciate it. Se, lo, se los agradecería. Please. Okay. We have here. 5 out of 5, 4 out of 5, uh, 5 out of 5, nice. Um, 5 out of 5 over there, 5 out of 5, nice. That's great. Thank you so much. All right. So there you go. You have the script. I'm going to share the screen with you. And uh, we take it further. I'm going to just erase all the ads, the advertisements on the page. Vamos a borrar esos anuncios que están ahí, ¿verdad? Lo que más abunda ahora. So, 
here we go, sharing the screen one more time. Let's take a look at the conversation model. So this evening, you know, for in this time, let's do something different with the listening, my friends. All right, so try not to read that much. Y le vamos a llamar a la actividad, se va a llamar, ¿verdad? Looking up, ¿verdad? Mirar or closing your eyes. Si usted gusta, o cierra los ojos o algo, pero no vamos a depender y estar fijamente, ¿verdad? Viendo la pantalla. Por lo menos, y quiero enfatizar en eso, ¿verdad? La, las últimas dos palabras o la última palabra, ya sea que sea pregunta o una oración normal, eh, trate de verla y luego decirla, ¿verdad? Entonces, no estar así todo el tiempo dependiendo. ¿verdad? De la pantalla, just like this. So, look at the word over there and try to memorize it very quickly. Keep it in your head just for a couple of seconds and then say it. All right. In that way, you will become better. Vamos a mejorar. You'll see, you're going to get better. So, hey, why don't we do something fun next week? We have time off. We never do anything fun. Right. Entonces, hay que anticiparse lo que está acá. Well, I don't know what, uh, what do you have in mind. If it's a question, you can, maybe not easily, but uh, with some effort, you can say it, ¿verdad? Si es una pregunta así como esta cortita, trate de, de no depender mucho del texto, sino que decirla, ¿verdad? Entonces, y mirar a su compañero cuando está practicando. That's a good practice. That's good practice. I will play the audio the last time and just keep that rhythm. Voy a, voy a reproducir el audio. Usted solo lo único que va a hacer es tratar de ir leyendo, ¿verdad? Cuando ellos lo vayan diciendo. ¿Ok? In your mind. Don't say anything. Right now, just try to understand what's going on. Reproduzco esto y trate de en su mente irlo leyendo, ¿verdad? And then I will send you to practice in a breaker room. All right? Here we go. Hey, hey, why don't we do something fun next week? We have time off. We never do anything fun. Well, I don't know. What do you have in mind? Well, I was thinking like, okay. Like so the library? The library is... <laughs> What? The library's boring. <laughs> we can do that anytime. Listen, how about on Monday we go down to the lake and go swimming at the lake? I don't know. I think it's going to be hot that day. And I might get a sunburn. You Come know how tender on. tender my skin is? Wim. <laughs> we can do that. Okay, so Monday we'll go down to the lake. Tuesday we're going to go mountain biking. Um, it's supposed to be cloudy, so your tender skin shouldn't get burned. <laughs> well, that sounds great, but I'd probably crash like I did the last time and break my arm or something. You didn't break your arm last time. You won't break it this time. Come on, we'll go. So Monday we'll go to the lake. Tuesday we're going to go mountain biking. Okay. Um, Wednesday I was thinking we could go fishing. Remember the last time we went? I caught like 10 huge fish. Yeah, I remember, and the only thing I caught was an old boot, and you won't ever, ever let me forget that one. So, if we do anything, I'd like to enjoy it. Well, okay then, um, what do you suggest? Well, all right, well, we could stay home and, uh, you know, pop some popcorn and play, like, Scrabble or another board game. You know, something like that. What? You know, I like board games, but we can do that any time. Why don't we go, listen... Friday or Saturday, we'll do all those things we talked about. And then Friday or Saturday, we'll go on a picnic to the mountains. You won't break your arm. <laughs> you won't get sunburned. It'll be really pleasant. Let's do that, okay? Well. Come on. Let's uh, do it. It'll be fun. Okay, we'll give it a try. Good. All right. So we'll give it a try, he said. So intentaremos. All right. We intentaremos. Okay, so now let me just clarify a couple of things about the vocabulary. Vamos a... Uh, Darles un poquito de, de orientación en cuestión del vocabulario. So, what do you have in mind? Or what do you have in mind? ¿Qué tienes en mente? Time off, ¿verdad? Tiempo de descanso, time off, ¿verdad? El que usted tiene disponible para usted. That's a time off. All right, traducción. También podría ser su día libre, sus vacaciones, ¿verdad? El tiempo que se tiene para los holidays. All right, so sometimes we need some time off, ¿verdad? Días libros o días de vacaciones o tiempo para sí mismo. Ok. Um, something else over there that, that he said, this expression, wimp. Wimp means holgazán, flojo, aragán. Eh, that's the meaning of wimp over here. All right. Um, what else I can tell you in here? Huge. When, cuando dijeron acá, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Dónde está? Mountain biking. Let me forget. Uh, se me ha perdido. ¿Dónde está? Blah, blah, blah. 
Después del 10. Es... Here, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, you got it. So I caught like 10 huge fish, ¿verdad? Grandes, inmensos, ¿verdad? O grandísimos, enormes, huge. If you have a huge problem, it means that it's difficult to solve. Si tiene un, un gran problema, ¿verdad? Huge, huge. Um, ok, pleasant, placentero, pleasant, all right? Placentero, pleasant, something that you can enjoy, right? Pleasant, right? So some other options for pleasant are agradable, like nice, enjoyable, que usted lo puede disfrutar. If you're talking about a person, if you tell us, ah, you're a pleasant person, es agradable, una persona agradable, you know, someone that you can talk to and you, you spend time with, simpático, pleasant, all right? Okay, or like the weather, right? The weather, it's nice, it's not too hot, uh, so it, it's, it's a good weather, so it's agradable, verdad? It's pleasant, okay? All right? So, um, let me make the breaker rooms right now, and you are going to practice because what we need here is practice, and that's what we, that's what you came for, you know, to start with. Uh, I'm making the groups right now, and uh, one second. Any questions about the vocabulary for me or not, my friends? No questions for me. All right, so I'm going to start the uh, the rooms right now. So here we go. Uh -huh. Hello, hello. <laughs> hello, teacher. Hoy sí. Hoy sí, hoy sí está por acá. Hoy sí están completos. Hoy sí estamos completos, teacher. <laughs> ok. Bueno, Pero voy a compartir tú la vas a pantalla. Decir, ¿verdad? Sí. Ahorita, permítame un segundo. Vamos a borrar acá lo necesario. Aquí estamos ya. Ok. Yes. Solo un poquito para arriba. Ahí va. Aquí. Aquí va. Yes, sir. Ok, ¿Quién, quién, quién, ¿quién conmigo va a llevar? Ya está bien, Una. empezaré yo. <risa> no la miro muy decidida, <risa> pero ni modo. <risa> Solo somos es tres. que si no, aquí vamos a estar. <risa> sí, es verdad. Vale, right. yes, comienzo yo. Hey, hey. hey. Why don't we do some sometime next week? We have time of we never do you anything fun. Well, I don't know what do you have in me. I didn't last time and break my arm or something. You don't did you didn't break your arm last time. You won't won't break break it this time. Come on, we'll go. So Monday, we'll go to the lake. Tuesday, we're going to the mountain biking, okay? 
On Wednesday. Ah, on, on Wednesday. I was thinking we could go fishing. Remember the last time we went? I caught like 10 huge fish. Yeah, I remember. I, the only thing I caught was an old boat. And you, were, you won't ever, ever let me forget that one. So if we do anything, I'd like to enjoy it. Well, okay, then, um, do you suggest? Well, all right. Well, uh, I'm all, all the and you want ever, ever, let me forget that one. So if we do anything, you'd like to enjoy it. Well, okay, then, um, do you suggest? Well, all right. Well, we could uh, stay home and do, you know, pop song, pop -up and play like scrabble or another ball game. Yeah, something like that. What? You know, I like board games. We can do that anything we don't we go, listen, Friday or Saturday. We'll do all that. Uh, I just think we're talking about um, the Friday or Saturday. We'll go a uh, picnic to the moon. You won't break your arm. You won't get a somber. I'll be really pleasant. Let's do that, okay? Well, come on, let's do it. Let's do it. It's beautiful. Okay. Catherine, quiere o Eduardo, no sé. ¿Quién está? Solo tres estamos. Sí. Voy a comenzar yo. Hey, hey, why don't we do something fun next week? We have time off. We never do anything fun. Well, I don't know what do you have in mind. Well, I was thinking like, okay. Hello, hello. <laughs> ah, with, with the audio. Yeah. yeah, it's very fast. I can see that. Yes. But you're, you're going to learn. I mean, you're going to learn, all right? Your, your, your ear needs to get used to the uh, speed, right? So, we don't need to acostumbrarse a un poquito. Hey. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, there's no magic formula that I can give you, but no como así, pues, una, una receta mágica <laughs> that I can give you over there, right? But it's just practice okay. and practice. You, you see, now women power. We have Mrs. Orellana, Ms. Hernandez, and you, Ms. Lasso. Women power. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> Hagámoslo. Eso me gustó. <laughs> ya, ya, ya. Ya, la gente ya nos está dando ánimos. <laughs> yes. What happens oh, is that okay. in English they contract many things. All right. That's what happens. Like when you say, What do you have in mind? They don't say, What do you have in mind? They say, What do you, what do, what do you have in mind? That's how that's it. Correct. And for the future, they don't say, it, uh, I'm going to, they say, I'm gonna. Right. Okay. And, and the lady, the woman, she speaks very, very fast, by the way. Like if it's a competition, right? Who's going to speak faster, right? Yes. But it's just yes, practice yes. over there. Um, okay. Maybe, yes, but, but let's do something better over here, maybe. Why don't you help me in front of the class? Maybe two of you, you decide, all right? You decide. And I'm asking you as a, as a favor if you want to do it. And you don't have to run, but no, no vamos a correr. <laughs> All right. So. ¿Se anima, Sonia? No, pues sí. Men. I am men. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sí, verdad que es un mini rol. All right. Okay. Yeah, okay. So let's go back to the main section. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.
Miss Carmen, were you going to ask something to me? You want me to ask something? Were you going to say something? Okay, no. Okay. No, 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 teacher. Nice, no, okay. There you go. All right, so just wait uh, for a couple of seconds so everybody else joins the meeting over there. Something that works for me, and this is my personal opinion and personal advice is do not read everything you have over there. Because in that way, you're going to make some time and you're going to save time. Va a ahorrar tiempo. Si está así, no, ¿verdad? Entonces va a perder la secuencia. So, so hey, uh, so why don't we do something fun next week, ¿verdad? Entonces ya cambia, ¿verdad? La vista. We have time off, ¿verdad? Y vuelvo y, y, y miro a otro lado. We never do anything fun. And something that we need to do, my friends, is make the right intonation. La intonación en el inglés es clave para que usted le salga lo que va a decir. All right? Intonation matters over there. In Spanish, we don't speak that way, ¿verdad? Si usted me escuchara en español, quizás está bien lo aburriría con lo que le dijera. In English, it's less, ¿verdad? Because we, we see happy, right? So we look happy, ¿verdad? We sound happy. Escuchamos como que feliz o eléctrico, si así, ¿verdad? Okay. But in Spanish, it's a whole different story. En español es totalmente distinto. All right? And that's the beauty of English, ¿verdad? Que usted lo hace como entrar en otro, en otro ambiente. So, Miss Sonia, you're going to be uh, the man over here. And is it you, Miss Hernandez, or you, Mrs. Orellana, the one you're going to practice? You let me know, please. Uh, Miss Susana, you're going to be the woman over here, right? Okay, because, yeah, I was going to say you promised, but I was going to lie to you. So, one, two, three. So, Miss uh, Susana, go ahead, please. Okay, now. Hey, hey, why don't we something fun next week? We have time off. We never do anything fun. Well, I don't know. What do you have in mind? Well, I was thinking like, okay, like the liberty. This ride is what? Delivery is boring. We call to that anytime. Listen, how about on Monday we go to down to the lake and go swimming at the lake? Uh, I don't know. I think it's I, I don't know. I think it's going to hot the day, and I mean get on sunburn. You know, ah, come on, come on. You know how tender tender is my skin. Is. Ali. We can do okay. Uh, so Monday, we're going down to the lake. Those like we're going to the mountain biking. Um, it is supposed to be cloudy, so your tender skin should that get boring. Oh, that sounds great. But I probably catch like I did last time and break my arm on or something. something. Mm -hmm. Your team break your arms last time. <laughs> You want to break, it is time. Come on, we'll go. So Monday we'll go to the lake. Tuesday we're going to the mountain biking. Okay. 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 Um see. Wednesday, I was thinking we could go fishing. Remember the last time we went? I caught like tens whole fish. Mm -hmm. Few fish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember. And the only thing that I caught was an uh, only tooth. And you will, whatever, won't ever, ever let me forget that one. So if we do anything, I'd like to enjoy this. Okay. Well, okay then. Um, do you suit it? Well, all right. Well, we call it say corn and, oh, you know, pop, pop some popcorn and play like a scramble and, or another board game. Yes. Something like that. What? what? You know, I like board games, but we can do that anytime. Why don't we go? Listen, Friday or Saturday. We'll do all those things we're talking about on Friday or Saturday. We'll go on a picnic to the mountains. You won't break your arm. You won't get a summer. I'll be really pleasant. Let's do that, okay? Well... Come on, let's do it. It'll be fun. Okay, we'll do it. 
a try. Good. Good. <laughs> you know, Miss Sonia, you really sound like if Miss uh, Hernandez <laughs> is trying to convince you, como que se la trata de convencer, de verdad. <laughs> but that... de los nervios, tanto <laughs> yes, Uy, sí. yes, you're right. That's a long listening, by the way. We say over here, we're going to expand it. Vamos a expandir. It'll be, it'll be really pleasant. It'll be. It'll be. It'll, it'll. Está el it, y luego el will, contractado, it'll be. Como cuando le dicen que le ponen la inyección, no le va a doler. You know, it'll, it'll be fine. <laughs> All right, they tell you over there. It'll be fine. When you see here capital letters, my friends, you have to raise your voice. All right, because he's saying, oh, okay. and you won't ever, ever let me forget that one. And besides the intonation, you have to respect the uh, punctuation marks, ¿verdad? Los signos de puntuación, eso nos van a dar la pauta. Si está en paréntesis, like you have it over there, like in paréntesis, it means that the other speaker says something, all right? Like in this case, it says, I don't know, I think it's going to be that hot that day, right? And I might get a sunburn. Come on, they say, right? Uh -huh. O sea, ¿qué te pasa, uh -huh. verdad? Entonces, you know how tender, tender my skin is. And one more thing, the, uh, uh, everyone, and for you, Miss Miss Hernandez, library, all right? Library. So library is the place where you go to study and borrow books. Usted presta libros en la biblioteca and you read in there quietly, right? And peacefully. And the uh, bookstore is where you get the books and you buy them, right? Because that's the difference. You, you have the library. That's the library. Entonces, como que, let's do something fun. ¿Qué tienes en mente? What do you have in mind? I was thinking, y le hace una broma, right? He was joking, like the library. That's not exciting, right? <laughs> you go to the library because you need to study, all right? And then at, at the end, bajémonos acá un poquito. I like board games. No, no, no son juegos aburridos. For some people, they are, but a algunas personas no les gusta. Son juegos de mesa, all right? Board games. And that's what you have over there, all right? So this is a good conversation, and it's a real conversation, all right? They said they caught uh, was an old book, ¿verdad? Atraparon, ¿verdad? Una, una bota vieja se hallaron en el lago last time, right? Nice. It's always a pleasure, you know, to uh, hear you speak, everyone, uh, because you see, that's how you improve. Así como mejoramos. Yes. Um, cuando usted le pone esa expresión, ¿verdad? You won't ever, ever, ever. Está diciendo nunca jamás, ¿verdad? Nunca se te va a olvidar, all right? So uh, let me share with you the following, all right? So take a look at this, all right? Take a look at this. Um, yeah, this, this activity, I promise, is the last one about the future we'll be going to. It's a reading. And the name of the re reading is, what are you going to do on your birthday? Scan the article. How old is each person going to be? All right? Escaneamos rapidamente para ver cuántos años van a cumplir esta gente. And you have Elena Buenaventura at, um, I guess, 21, right? All right. What about Kameishi, all right, or in Taipei? Uh-huh. How old? Estamos respondiendo a esta interrogante. How old is each person going to be? ¿Cuántos años van a cumplir? Yes. Can you find it over 16 here? 16 birthdays. 16 birthdays. 16 birthdays. Uh -huh. Yes, correct. 16 birthdays. She's going to be 16. Mr. and Mrs. Aoki in Kyoto, Japan. Uh, uh huh. The husband. The husband, my friends. I'm just asking, I'm just asking the age. Yeah. 60 tomorrow, right? Correct. 60 tomorrow. No 16, right? So not for a Um, And Philippe from Paris, from Paris, right? A very young, right? A young adult. So, of course, he's steady. So right now, I'm going to play the, I'm going to play, thank you so much. I'm going to play the listening for you. Listen, please pay attention to the pronunciation. The, see what's going on over here. But pongamos atención, cuál es el contexto. You see what's the context over here. And once you finish, you're going to take turns reading this. And you will complete, va a completar, el ex exercise eight over here. Like read the article, then correct these sentences. So you have four sentences incorrect. Where can you find this uh, reading? It's on the PDF that I shared with you on the very last page. Está en la última página del PDF que les compartí. 
ya hace tiempo, ¿verdad? Entonces, but I'm gonna forward it over here. In case you don't have it. Bye. Era como le estoy llenando, ¿verdad? Su, su teléfono, la memoria, ¿verdad? De documentos y todo eso. <laughs> yeah, it happens over there, right? I'm packing your, your, your uh, memory in there, right? Your cell phone. You have to delete everything, you know, once we finish over there. Uh, this is, this is the file I'm typing over here. All right. There you go. So that's the file. All right. Let's go back over here and listen to the pronunciation. Van a escuchar ustedes el audio, va a leer por ahí. And then we take you for another one, two, three. And let me know, please, if you're able to listen. Exercise 12. All right, here we go. One second. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit correct. This this file is telling me, right? But I'm going to find it over here. Permítame un momento. Que en realidad sí les quiero eh, poner esto a reproducir para que tengan ustedes lo que está ahí. En lo que, en lo que arreglo la cuestión del audio, eh, let me share the screen with you. You can read this in, in your head just to get familiar with what's written down over there. Le, leemos todos, verdad, de forma individual en su mente, uh, while I play the listening for you, for the next one minute, right? Por el siguiente minuto. So let's read, please, what I'm sharing with you, indoor, my friends, right? Please. Uh, let's see. Let me just one second while we're here. Let me take you here. All right. Permítame. Aquí está. Para, para no. All right, there you go. So read that please right now in your mind. Let's get familiar with what's, with what's written down over there. And uh, very quickly, I'm going to uh, share with you the audio over here. So one second. Hello, this is All right, so let me know, please, when you're done reading in your head, please. All right, please. Yes. Listen to the uh, audio over there, and then um, then we're going to complete the exercise over there. So I apologize because the audio was broken. Esto salió como como defectuoso el, el, el audio, entonces tuve que descargarlo otra vez. So that's why, All right? So just one second over there. Elena Buenaventura, Madrid. My 21st birthday is on Saturday, and I'm going to go out with some friends. To wish me a happy birthday, they're going to pull on my ear 21 times, once for each year. It's an old custom. Some people pull on the ear just once, but my friends are very traditional. Kame Shi, Taipei. Tomorrow is my 16th birthday. It's a special birthday, so we're going to have a family ceremony. I'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes from my relatives. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. 
Mr. and Mrs. Aoki, Kyoto. My husband is going to be 60 tomorrow. In Japan, the 60th birthday is called Kandeki. It's the beginning of a new life. The color red represents a new life. So children often give something red as a present. What are our children going to give him? A red hat and vest. Philippe Jolie, Paris. I'm going to be 30 next week, so I'm going to invite three very good friends out to dinner. In France, when you have a birthday, you often invite people out. In some countries, I know it's the opposite. People take you out. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I like the examples over there. ¿verdad? Usted le, le alan la oreja dependiendo de cuánto cumpla. <laughs> you see, that's crazy over there, right? <laughs> yeah, the pull of your ear, it says over here, right? And uh, in Taipei, it's, it's different. So they give you money, right? Ahí sí funciona el, el, el regalo de sobre, ¿verdad? The envelope, right? Envelope gift or the present. And uh, in Japan, in Kyoto, you know, 60, you're just starting to live, ¿verdad? Empieza a vivir a los 60. <laughs> in Japan, all right, that's interesting. And in Paris, uh, according to Philippe, the birthday uh, boy or girl invites people out. It's the opposite. Ahí es al revés, pero usted los tiene que invitar. <laughs> all right. So it's, it's interesting to see that. It's interesting to see that. So, uh, so what we're going to do is basically to read these statements and then make the corrections. All of these statements are incorrect. Todas están incorrectas, all right? So let me just go back. For Kameishi in Taipei, I guess that's China, if I'm not mistaken. Noodles are spaghettis, right? So in Italy or in the Western Hemisphere, uh, we call... Uh, this type of food, you know, this pasta, spaghetti, right? But over in China, they call them noodles. Basically, they're not the same. It's a, it's a different type of uh, food, all right? Do you have any questions for me before I, I send you to practice in the break room? Tienen alguna consulta, a pronunciation or something like that? No sé si se fijaron, verdad, pero o se dieron cuenta, dependiendo del país, la nacionalidad. They have a different accent in English. Did you notice that? All right. The Spanish girl spoke in a different way. The, China, the uh, Japanese spoke in a, and then the French said, you know, the French in there, he spoke in a different way. All right. No questions for me? No? All right. So let me send you to the, to the breaker room. So you practice the reading taking terms and then complete exercise A, like making their corrections. Leemos y corregimos los, los enunciados que están en la parte A, over there. Okay, so here we go. Las oraciones están correctas y las teníamos que corregir. Ajá, exacto. Exacto, dijo que las teníamos que corregir, que estaban incorrectas. Hello, hello. Está en el PDF. <risa> Aquí estoy. <risa> ah, ahí está. Sí, ahí está. <risa> ahí está. En orden de grupos, teacher. Ajá, perdón. Ajá. <risa> Para visitarnos a todos. Ah, sí, sí, sí. <risa> Ver, ah, PDF, ¿cuál, ¿Cuál PDF de todo? Yo ya me ahora, perdí. Ahora lo reenvió. Sí, le, le di ahí, eh, pues lo puse visible otra vez. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ahí, ah. tengo el mensaje. ahí está. Ahí les puse, este es el, este es el archivo. Cabal, uh -huh. el que compartió ayer, creo yo que. Ya sé, para, a, ayer o antier, para, pues no sé, este, lo que pasa es que un montón de mensajes que hay aquí, me hasta fechas de cumpleaños. Sí, hasta <risa> Hombre, yo no sé por dónde iba. Ajá. Eh, ayer Claudia, así como que. Perdón. Be going to future. Es el Ese es. Es el be going to future, sí. correct. Be going to future. future. Sí. En la última página dijo. 
Yo aquí me pero quisiera no quedar. Trabajando. Aquí me quisiera quedar en el grupo, pero tengo que ir ahí. En la yo ayer estaba bien, trabajando. <risa> Dígame. Claudia. A las 8 y 10 estaba trabajando con, con mi teléfono en la mano y los audífonos y todo me decían, eh, ya, ya, ya toca la otra parte. Y yo, ahorita, ahorita, ahorita voy. <risa> <risa> Deseaba hacerse doble. <risa> Sí, si sí, no activo la cámara cuando voy manejando, no me van a contar ni un minuto. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, un, un esfuerzo titánico eso, porque sí. gastarse los datos, dígame. Pues sí, cabal. Sí, es, es otra cosa. Pero eso no es tanto, sí. No, no sé, la verdad. Sí, sí. Creo que depende de la definición de la no, imagen. No, porque yo desactivo la cámara porque se me, se me pierde el internet, tengo problemas. Modo robot. <ríe> en modo robot. Bueno, <ríe> se me queda. Nos vemos en serio. Aquí el PDF. Yes. I'll see you around. Yeah. Vemos en un segundo. Vamos a revisar. Si no, dicen que ya me fui. <ríe> ok, ok. <ríe> her, her ears. Uh, her ears. Hi, Elena's here. Ears. Uh -huh. Entonces pongamos todo de inicio. Celebrate. Oh, okay. Entonces, ¿cómo que cayó la migra? <risa> ya cayó. Ah, mal. Ya guardia. no hablemos. <risa> este, guardamos silencio, así como lo hicimos. Está bien, perfecto, chévere. Perfecto. Hay, que Cabal. Hay, que, hay que esperar el regreso y, y cuando Mister. pregunte ya sabe. Ya de terminarse el cafecito. Va. <risa> a ver. Yo le digo a, a mi Zulma. Mi Zulma, sí. De, eh, que por rato, cuando me frustro que estoy haciendo las cosas, sí. eh, dan ganas de tirar la toalla. Sí, la verdad. Sí, no es porque la muchacha de Recursos Humanos me mandó, el, el, me mandó una foto de que habían mandado el Había... título la última vez. Y yo, tengo que echarle ganas otro poquito. Sí, ya va a estar ya tre, tres clases más contando esta, ya van quedando dos. Teacher, pero yo tengo una duda. Dígame. Bueno, no es, ni, no es tanto así una duda, pero si no, dejémoslo en duda existencial. <risa> <risa> Vaya, yo sé que muchos de los compañeros que ellos sí van bien en esta área, ah, vemos unos que nos cuesta un poco más que los demás. Eh, pero, ¿cómo se llama eso? A la larga, no afecta mucho, no afecta. ¿En, en qué sentido? ¿En, ¿En su aprendizaje o, lo, o ir pasando? ¿O, o a qué se refiere? En, el, eh, en que lo, uno lo van subiendo. Ah, ok, bueno. ya lo entendí. Ajá. Sí, el hecho de que eh, a usted, usted puede ir, digamos, pasando de nivel, pero al final es como que se va a frustrar porque no va a dar el ancho, ¿verdad? más o menos. Por si así decirlo, correcto. Por así decirlo. Vaya, eh, lo que pasa es, y se lo voy a poner el ejemplo personal mío, lo que nosotros estamos viendo ahorita del futuro, esas seis páginas que están ahí, Ajá. si usted estuviera de forma presencial, presencial cuando yo estudié, este, lo miraban en cuatro horas o tres horas y media poniéndole el break o en cuatro horas o en quiero ver dos, cuatro, como seis horas de lunes a viernes es decir sí. que ahorita vamos corriendo es normal que usted siente la presión y que usted diga me estoy quedando porque oh. y yo le hago la comparación porque yo, yo les, les, los he comentado la gran casualidad que cuando yo comencé a estudiar inglés a los 17 años este, ese era el libro que ocupaba Ah, ¿en serio? Sí, exactamente. Yo, pues, este libro yo, para mí es lo mejor que puede haber, ¿verdad? Aparte de que uno tiene ese nostalgia, ¿verdad? Que le abrieron, le abrieron las puertas de una forma. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Pero cuando yo miro que ustedes cubren un tema y de acuerdo a Insafor cubrimos otro y vamos como bien corriendo, o sea, no hay el tiempo suficiente. Y yo le voy a dar lo siguiente. Ahorita tendríamos que estar estudiando imperatives desde las 8 de la noche de este día según la planificación, que a mí me dicen, siga la planificación, yo tengo que uh -huh. estar con otro tema, pero yo lo que hago es estirar lo más que puedo los temas para darles chance de que usted pueda aprender, aunque sea un poquito. Thank you, teacher. No, no es broma. Este, <risa> no, este, es cierto, gracias, porque de veras, este, yo soy uno de los que se frustra. <risa> y, y, 
yo sé que esto cuesta y estamos cansados, todo mundo acá, entonces, ya los últimos días como que ya basta, ¿va? entonces eh, es normal sentirse así y es normal que usted se sienta que es como que bien abrumado, pero es porque esto va bastante rápido, o sea, las cosas hoy se mueven más rápido que se movían hace 5 o 10 años, ¿verdad? Sí, eso pues, sí. Entonces eso, eso es normal, ¿verdad? Pero... Si tiene la oportunidad y se puede conectar y va captando algunas cositas, yo por eso les menciono, ¿verdad? Golden uh -huh. Rule, la Golden Rule. Apréndase eso y con el tiempo su oído se va a afinar. Va a llegar el momento cuando usted esté un poquito más, eh, menos cansado, por, por así decirlo, o tenga un poquito uh -huh. más de margen de error. Ya le va a dedicar más tiempo. Pero las bases, yo estudiaba solo los sábados y, y viajaba desde Usulután, venía y me, me venía en la madrugada a estudiar acá en la UES. Y él, entonces venía y estudiaba en la mañana entonces y de ahí me iba en la tarde para allá de regreso y así pasé por ocho meses estudié cuatro niveles o sea lo que ustedes llevan y que van a llegar a, hoy en, en mayo yo el equivalente o sea estudié en octubre solamente los sábados o sea, una vez por semana uh -huh. y esas fueron las bases o sea este tema lo del pasado y lo que hemos visto son las bases del inglés y no, neces no necesariamente usted lo tiene que manejar hoy, pero por lo menos si escucha a alguien va a tener una idea, ah, está hablando del futuro y eh, tal cosa. O sea que es como, es como lo que yo hago donde trabajo. Yo, uh -huh. Básicamente en un call center en su mayoría por, por sí. cuestiones de práctica ellos solo en inglés hablan. Sí. Entonces la curiosidad que yo tengo que hago es que yo los escucho y como no voy a entender todos, me, como decir ellos tiran las palabras y yo me agarro de las que uh -huh. entiendo. Uh -huh. Y yo, ah, entonces están hablando de esto. Ya tengo más uh -huh. o menos como la idea. Uh -huh. Exacto. Sí, uh -huh. eh, entonces, eh, por eso yo los animo y les digo, eh, y no es por el hecho de venderles el programa ni nada de eso, sino que uh -huh. el inglés lleva tiempo. Si usted le dice en una academia, va a aprender en seis meses, eso es una gran mentira. O sea, palabras más fuertes le podría ocupar este... Pero eso es mentira. En un año usted por lo menos va a tener una conversación con alguien, va a entender cuestiones de pasado, futuro, presente y va a tener un vocabulario para más o menos darse a entender. En dos años usted tiene que tener un nivel intermedio, ¿verdad? Pero un intermedio, intermedio fijo, ¿verdad? No el hecho de que usted cree que más o menos habla, no, ahí tiene que un poquito más, ya para trabajar en un, o, que lo, o que por lo menos pasar una entrevista en un call center. Y así como nosotros que vamos acá... Uh -huh. eh, nosotros vamos a tener un límite al final me imagino, pero para poder continuar a algo superior, por así decirlo bueno, voy, a poder, voy a hacer un minuto para que ya no, no se nos corran los clientes, dígame <risa> este, eh, no, le decía que en el caso de nosotros, creo que esta modalidad solo dura un año, un año y medio me parece, ¿verdad? Sí, pero fíjese que se logra, en año y medio usted llega a aprender lo nivel eh, pero tiene que mantenerse constante si usted pierde uh -huh. un mes y el problema es que aquí como que lo borran, ¿verdad? No sé cómo funciona, si son tan estrictos en ese sentido. Sí, algo así he escuchado Ajá. de eso. Eh, cuestiones administrativas no nos comparten mucho porque cuestiones mm. burocráticas eh, es... Eh, Esa es otra cosa. Es otro rollo. Ajá. Correcto, entiendo. Entonces, pero no, ustedes, así se lo digo, y no por darles, eh, por echarle flores ni nada, sino que o sea, lo que usted le cueste o lo mucho o lo poco que aprenda es lo normal que tiene que ir aprendiendo. Ok. Uh -huh. Gracias, teacher. Yes, we have five seconds. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Palabra. All right. So, hello, everyone. Welcome back over here. So, remember, we have, let's see, four people in here. Elena Buenaventura, Kameshi, Mr. and Mrs. Aoki, and Philippe Jolie. All right. And then the, we have the information over there. The, um, cumplir años, usted va a decir, she is turning, or she's going to turn, ¿verdad? Como term, de, de encender, T-U-R-N, term, es como cumplir, term. Eh, tantos años va a decir usted, or she's going to be tanto. Usted dice, el próximo mes voy a cumplir tanto, va a decir, next month. I'm going to turn, T-U-R-N, turn. 30 years old, 35, 40, 45, eh, por ahí, ¿verdad? Como aquí a los 60 comenzamos a vivir, ¿verdad? No nos va a dar pena decir. <laughs> All right. But that's in Japan, right? It's not in El Salvador. Okay. And here we go. To celebrate her birthday, Elena is going to pull on her friend's ears. And what's the correct uh, response in here, my friends? 
All right, fun. Elena's friends are going to pull her here 21 times. Yeah, in 21 times, it's not only like once, yeah, one time. No, it's 21 times. That is too much, I would say. All right. Kame is going to cook some noodles on her birthday. And if you don't remember, you have to go back and say, my mother, uh huh. You have to say her mother, su mamá, verdad, ella. Her mother. Finish the sentence, please. Si pueden terminar la, la, el enunciado, la oración, pues. Her mother is going to cook noodles, cook noodles for her birthday, right? And, and the noodles mean a long and happy life, okay? Number three, on his birthday, Mr. Aoki is going to buy something red. Is that true? No. Mr. You... Aoki is going to receive uh, Correct. some some red, some red present, a uh, red hat and, and vest. And, and a vest, un chaleco. So, uh, so his children are going to give him something red or he's going to get get or receive get uh something red like a hat and a vest philip's friends are going to take him out to dinner on his birthday we're going to take him take somebody out take out como cuando usted saca la basura where they take out take the garbage out también puede ocuparlo para take somebody out no que lo va a sacar porque es basura no <laughs> okay so take him out verdad sacar verdad salir con alguien all right be careful with that expression, please. It's the, it's the opposite, right? It's lo opuesto. It's, it's the other way around, but that is al revés. So uh, he is going to take his friends out to dinner, right? Okay. Now, so with this, we're done with the future. And now we need to start with a different topic, which is a review. De hecho, es un repaso lo que vamos a hacer, ¿verdad? Este tema. Como cuando le decía el profesor de matemática, ¿verdad? Este ya lo vieron por allá, ¿verdad? En tercer ciclo le decía. <laughs> All right. So we covered this last module, by the way, my friends. We covered this already, but let's take a look at this. Any questions for me, by the way, before we start the next topic? Para no entrar así de golpe. No sé, alguna consulta, alguna pregunta o algo. Before we start with this. No? All right. That's okay. Not a problem over here. Uh, one second. In here. One, two, three. I'm going to share the screen right now. So imperatives or imperatives are used for los imperativos en inglés. Esto vamos a ver for the next 15 minutes. We're going to cover this. All right. Uh, but before I let you go, let's see. Let's see who's, who's going to stay or needs to stay tonight for the one on one. A quien le corresponde el one on one esta noche? Thursday is Miss Susana Portillo. All right. Okay. Miss Susana Portillo for 10 minutes. Ya casi, ya casi. In 15 minutes, we're going to start with that. Um, está esto? It's over here. All right. All right, so the, the topic uh, for today is imperatives, all right? ¿Y qué es esto, dice usted, verdad? What is this used for? ¿Para qué se usa? ¿Con qué se come? We use instructions, a.k.a. imperatives to tell someone how to do something. Son prácticamente indicaciones, verdad, guías. Eh, que usted le pide a alguien, verdad? Entonces se le dice, verdad, como una hora. If you're part of the army... An imperative is like, okay, uh, do exercise or get the rifle, ¿verdad? All right? Una consigna me decían por ahí. Uh, we usually use imperatives. They, knew, they do not sound too direct in this context. ¿verdad? By definition, imperatives are direct way to speak to people. For example, you, you speak to your son or your daughter, and then you tell them, go to the store or go get um, dos coras de tortilla, le dice, ¿verdad? vaya, vaya a comprar. You know, it's a direct statement, all right? But we also use them to give advice or suggestion, but it's, let's see, a little bit more direct. 
for recommendations, all right? Instructions or directions, like how to cook something, how to get to a place, or commands or orders. Well, you speak to your son or daughter, to your children, using commands or orders. Well, usted no le va a sugerir a su hijo algo, ¿verdad? Y levante tal cosa, ¿verdad? Arregle la cama, por favor. No, you say, pick it up, please. Do it, right? Do it, you know, and that's human nature in there, all right? But sometimes we use uh, this for advice. For example, if you're feeling sick right now, I can tell you directly. Si usted se siente mal, ¿verdad? Uh, por X motivo. Y me dice, mire, no voy a encender la cámara por tal cosa. Yo le digo, okay, that's okay. Take it easy, all right? Get some rest, ¿verdad? Descanse. Ese es como un consejo que le doy. O cuestión de, de, de cortesía. All right? Or a recommendation. Don't do that, right? No lo haga. Don't do it, ¿verdad? Le dice la gente. No lo haga, eso te va a ir mal. Right? Or instructions. You follow instructions over there. All right? So there is a way of making commands sound more polite. Pero hay una forma de ser un poquito más cortés. You know, polite. O menos pedrada, como decían por ahí también, ¿verdad? All right? And how do you do it? Adding please at the end of what we say, ¿verdad? E incluir el please, el por favor. Y aquí yo le puse, ¿verdad? Al final, but you can say it at the beginning. Please pick that up. O sea, levante eso. Please open the door. All right? Etc. So here we go. Hold on. So inferative. This is the grammar explanation that I have for you. Get some rest. I see that you're tired right now. And then I'm telling you, please get some rest. Descanse, le estoy diciendo, ¿verdad? Debería descansar, le estoy diciendo. Get some rest, all right? Don't stay up late. So I can tell you a positive or a negative, okay, a imperative. Don't stay up late, no se desvele, right? All right? Drink lots of juice, or I can tell you, drink lots of water, right? Beba suficiente o mucho jugo, right? Don't drink soda, no beba gaseosa, right? Take one pill every evening, right? I sound like Dr. Portillo right now, right? Tómese una pastilla, verdad? En la tarde noche, right? Cada tarde, cada noche. Don't work too hard, verdad? No se fuerce mucho, verdad? O sea, no se mate trabajando, verdad? Sometimes we do, right? And that's okay, all right? Sometimes. So now let's try to complete these sentences. Use the correct forms of the words in the box. Eh, cuando usted ocupa esta estructura, verdad? You don't use a subject, right? You don't use a subject. No le va a decir usted, you get some rest. De hecho, fíjense que si usted ocupa el you y no le tiene confianza a la gente, de hecho, hasta falta de respeto. Porque es como usted está enfatizando cuando no se debe, porque usted ya sabe quién está hablando. Like, and teachers uh, use imperatives. Sobre that. Cuando yo le digo, practice this, do the following, es una instrucción. Pero ya cuando le digo, para especificar, ¿verdad? Y el tono de voz es go golpeado, es como, que, mm, cuidado. Entonces usted dice, you do it. Hágalo, hacelo. You do it. ¿Ok? All right. You pick it up. O sea, y usted está diciendo, levantala o si no, ¿verdad? If you do it, pick it up, please. All right. Entonces, en negativo, usted va a decir, don't. Don't. Because this is a direct conversation, ¿verdad? Aquí no van a haber intermediarios. There's no intermediary over here. Let's try to do this. Let's see in your notebooks right now, quietly. Vamos a bajar la revolución, right? We're going to, you know, take it easy right now because it's almost time for us to say goodbye in 12 minutes. So we have the auctions, call stay not go not drink see take not worry and not eat and then we have the auctions over there can somebody help me please read the auctions no me diga la respuesta solamente léame de lo que está al final verdad a dentist okay si alguien me echa la mano por favor somebody would like to help me please could somebody help me please read this me teacher go ahead please thank you Uh, take yeah, continue, please. Um, it's Elizabeth, right? Yeah, teacher. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Este, 
Desde comienzo, arriba o abajo? No, just the ones with the numbers, with the numbers, like call a dentist. Okay. Yeah. A dentist. Mm -hmm. Too much. Okay. To a speeding. To a school. In bed. A doctor. Coffee. Any candy. Any candy over there. So we have call. Call a dentist, right? We, they gave us that already. Call All right. And then we have the other one that too much. Right. And the option is don't worry too much. No se preocupe demasiado. All right. Don't worry too much over there. Uh, all right. So, bueno, no le puedo dar la respuesta porque tratemos de hacer. Let's try to do it, please. Let's see individually in your notebooks over there. Let's try to do it individually. All right. To aspirin, do we say don't drink to aspirins? Or can we say see to aspirins? Don't eat two aspirins, but no se coma dos aspirinas. <laughs> I don't think that's the one, but I don't think that's the one. Right, Miss Portillo? Right. Right. Vamos a dar un, un, vamos a dar, verdad, una, un curso rápido, verdad? Sí, verdad. <laughs> no se automedique, right? No, no, no self prescription, right? <laughs> okay. Um, we have to school. Like, don't go to school, right? <laughs> don't go to school. Maybe, right? Um, Stay in the bed. If you drive, don't drink, right? <laughs> A very famous phrase, right? Si maneja, no tome. Stay in bed, make sure, you know, rest. Quedes en la cama, right? Yeah, rest. Cualquier parecido a la, uh, la realidad es por qué, ¿verdad? <laughs> es, pura, es pura casualidad. Exactly. <laughs> es una because causalidad. Causalidad, right? Yes, it's a cause, right? Causal, correct. Okay, so let's do this now uh, as, as a class, right? Right? So we have call a dentist. Nice. They gave us that already. A gift. Ya nos dieron ese regalito, right? Call a dentist. Ya está chequeado. Don't worry. Too much is over there already. Two aspirants. What would be the answer, take. my friends? Take. Take. Correct. It's take. All right. Not go to school. Yeah, take two aspirants over there. To school? Not go. Correct. But we say don't go to school, right? Don't go. No vaya because you're going to get sick, right? Stay in the bed. Stay in bed. Yeah, stay in bed, right? Like you, Mr. Melendez, stay in bed. Yes. Yeah, because Be you're a sick. doctor. Imagínese preparar la clase para usted, Mr. Yes. <laughs> Él me escribe al principio, uh, teacher, uh, and I'm not going to be in class because I, I feel sick. Y me pone, no sé cómo decirlo en inglés. Ah, ya sé, ya lo dijo en la clase. Uh, me lo manda en inglés. I right? feel See, terrible. I feel terrible, <laughs> me pone. <laughs> right? Okay, so doctor. See right, a doctor. Is, see a doctor, yeah, right? Doctor. Yeah, and right now I'm seeing a doctor over there, right? And I'm going to speak to a doctor in a one on one. <laughs> no drink, don't drink right? coffee. Ya saqué cita a las 10 yo ahorita. Nice. Coffee? No drink coffee. Don't drink Not coffee. Drink. Don't drink, right? Don't drink coffee. Don't and drink too much. Don't, don't eat any candy. Don't eat any candy over there, right? Eat. Don't eat any candy. Correct. Yeah, for children, right? Don't drink any candy, ¿verdad? Eh, bueno, por cuestiones de tiempo no lo vamos a escribir acá. But as a, as a recap, recapitulando, pongamos, let's pay attention. So, take two aspirins, don't go to school, stay in bed, see a doctor, eh, don't drink coffee, don't eat any candy. Right? Yes. yes. Okay. Nice. Let's continue with this. All right, let's continue with this. This one is going to be a little bit more uh, complex, not complicated, no difícil, sino que un poquito más compleja. Y aquí está la regla, we have the rules. So use the base form, sorry about it, right? Como que me tiembla un poquito el pulso, vea. All right. So sorry. La vacuna, la vacuna. La, ya está, ya. <laughs> so use the base form 
of the verb in affirmative imperatives, pero ocupamos la forma básica del verbo over here, right? In affirmative imperatives, go home and rest, right? Go home and rest. Vaya a la casa, verdad, y descanse. Pat. Use don't plus the base form of the verb in negative imperatives. Para negativo utilizamos, no, no utilizamos doesn't, never, verdad. Entonces vamos a decir, don't go to school today, verdad. No vaya a estudiar. Don't go to work today. All right. In the options, aquí tenemos este ejercicio. So we have this exercise over here. Read the situations, give the people advice, use the phrases in the box, ¿verdad? Lea las indicaciones acá, las letras pequeñas, ¿verdad? And then give the people advice, y dele consejos o sugerencias. And then we have the options, drink coffee in the afternoon, eat any cold food, exercise today or tomorrow, take an an, an and this one is take an antacid, right? Or antiacid, right? That's how you say antacid. Suena bien raro, right? Antacid, antacid. So uh, take two aspirins, work too hard, all right? And then we have the options over there. Y vamos a hacerlo aquí en grupo, verdad? Para ya no ir a los breaker rooms porque we don't have time. We don't really have time. And then uh, I need a volunteer that can help me read the options, ¿verdad? No me dé la respuesta ahorita. So don't give me the answer yet. Just, just help me read. Solo me ayuda a leer. All right, the options over there. Anybody, please? Yeah, teacher. Thank you so much. Go ahead, please. Lo del cuadrito, ¿verdad? Eh, um, let's do the ones with the numbers already. Hagámoslo de los numeritos, pero sin la respuesta, por favor. Without okay. the answer. All right, thank you. Bueno, two. Casey as the head Dutch, Dutch, head Dutch. Um, the corrido? The, cor the corrido, sí, sí. Casey has ah. a headache, headache. Headache, okay. Mm -hmm. Christina works uh, 12 hours a day. Michael has sore muscle. Min Hu has a two tech, tech. Y Laila has an awful stomach. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, let me uh, erase something over here. Vamos a, a salirnos de esta pantalla. Because I need to give you some feedback over there. All right. Hold on. Pronunciation tip, ¿verdad? Un tip de pronunciación to everyone right now. Take a look at this. Hold on. Um, Ya prácticamente con esta me despido. <laughs> okay, so when you have the word, esto, vamos a ponerlo en mayúscula, ¿verdad? Esto, A-C-H-E, this one means pain, all right? That one means pain. Esa palabrita significa dolor, all right? A. So in English, if you have dolor de estómago, Right? You say, so, pone la palabra, stomach, stomach, la C y la H es una K, stomach, y la pronunciación de esto, de esto, you know, that one is ache, ache, right? So, that's the pronunciation. So, pay attention, please. So that's the pronunciation, ache, right? So, if you say, Tengo dolor de estómago, you have to say, I have a stomach cake. Stomach cake, como que fuera un cake, como decimos nosotros, right? Like this, I have a stomach cake. Uh, dolor de diente o de muela. Tooth cake, right? Sorry, toothache. Um, what else do we have over there? Uh, dolor de espalda. Back, luego así, back cake. O sea, no a todos yeah, se yeah. le pone... Excuse me. Head cake. Yeah, back ache. Back ache. The second. Uh, is stomach cake. No, the second segment. Casey has a headache. Ah, Casey has a headache. Headache. Mm -hmm. Yeah, correct. Okay, head. And then you have headache. Headache. All right. You say, Casey has a headache. Um... 
Leila, number six, has an awful stomachache. Um, five, Minhu has a tooth, toothache. All right. And then you continue with her. Backache is just a, it's an extra word that I'm giving you. All right. Entonces, we finish with this. And who can give me the answers over there? And then we say goodbye. Can me ayuda con las respuestas? And then we say goodbye. All right. Number two. So Casey has a headache. Uh -huh. What is the advice? ¿Cuál es el consejo? Take two aspirins. Yeah, take two aspirins. Correct. Next one. Continue, Mr. Um, Edwin, right? Okay. So, hey, teacher. Yeah. Christina works two, two, 12 hours a day. Uh, work too hard. Yeah. Don't work too hard. Don't work too hard. Okay. Michael has some uh, sore, sore, adolorido, verdad? Muscles. 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 All right. Yep. Don't exercise today or tomorrow. Correct. Don't exercise today or tomorrow. And uh, Minhu has a toothache. Mm. Eat any cold food. Eat any cold food. Correct. And the last one, Leila has an awful stomachache. You stay uh, fantastic. Fantastic. All right. Thank you. So with this, I say goodbye. Hope to see you tomorrow on Friday. Um, have a great night, my friends. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye, Bye. everyone. Good night, everybody. Nice. Good night. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. Good night, Mr. Tony. See you tomorrow. Good night, Miss Claudia. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Mire, bien personalizada la clase, casualmente, sí. ¿verdad? Lo que estamos. <risa> Así, mire, acuérdese de mí cuando haga la, 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 la encuesta. Así es. Las casualidades, ¿verdad? Sí, la verdad que sí. Nice. ¿Qué cuenta? Pues no sé, ¿qué podríamos, qué le puedo ayudar ahorita? Mire, teacher, lo, lo del principio que estuve explicando, porque como yo me metí tarde. Ah, en la lo, clase. Lo, del, lo del futuro. Ajá. Vaya. Lo, lo vamos a simplificar un poquito, pero le voy a mostrar la, las páginas de esto que estaba ocupando yo. Permítame, aquí está. Vamos a ver, aquí está. Vaya. Para hablar del futuro existen tres estructuras, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Entonces nosotros ya cubrimos la cuestión del, 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 going, del uh, ¿cómo se dice esto? Presente continuo es la estructura, pero se puede utilizar para el futuro, como cuando usted dice, ¿verdad? I'm, I'm driving tomorrow, ¿verdad? Usted dice, voy a manejar mañana, pero el verbo lo ocupa en ING, pero se refiere uh -huh. para el futuro, eso ya lo estudiamos, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Uh, pero igual, ¿verdad? Usted lo puede usar o puede ocupar esa estructura que le estoy dando ahorita, que es un poquito más, más, más fácil, creo yo, ¿verdad? Aquí está la pantalla. Vaya. Going to. Regla número uno de oro. El be going to tiene que llevar el verbo to be independientemente del sujeto, ¿verdad? Y luego el going to tiene que ir, ¿verdad? Amarrado siempre, eso es obligación. Uh -huh. Y después del to, el verbo va en su forma básica. Eso es así. Y lo ocupa usted para un plan que usted ya lo tiene decidido, ¿verdad? Algo que usted tiene planificado, una vacación, no sé, algo que usted tiene que hacer, ¿verdad? Eh, alguna reunión que va a tener, pero ya lo planificó, ya lo tiene agendado, o sea, algo para el futuro, ¿ok? Que usted lo decidió, ¿verdad? Que no llegó a una conclusión con otras personas, sino que usted tomó la decisión. ¿verdad? Y puede ser para algo significativo o algo trivial, ¿verdad? El hecho que usted dice, no tengo hambre, quizás me duele el estómago, ¿verdad? En este caso, o dice usted, no, no voy a comer esto porque si me como los choris, <ríe> famosísimos, me voy a enfermar. ¿Verdad? <ríe> ¿verdad? O está la pizza y come hace dos piezas, no se coma tres, cuatro, entonces aquí está, mira, are you going to eat anything? ¿Vas a comer algo? Y le responden, no, I'm not hungry, ¿verdad? No, no, no tengo hambre, so I'm not going to eat anything, dice usted, no voy a comer nada. Por ejemplo, esta señorita dice, Sara won the lottery, se ganó la lotería. 
what is she going to do with the money? Entonces usted le pregunta, ¿y qué va a hacer ella con el dinero? Ok, solamente es algo, usted está preguntando, ¿verdad? Refiriéndose para el futuro, ¿qué ella va a decidir qué hacer? Por ejemplo, acá está ella. Y dice ella, ah, she's going to buy a new car. Va a comprar un carro. Or she's going to buy a house. Va a comprar una casa. Entonces, el futuro, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Tal cual es. All right. Mm -hmm. um, bajémonos acá, ¿verdad? La, la parte B. Ejemplo B. Aquí yo le decía, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre el ING y el ING del going to? La, la única diferencia es, es que el, el ING de cualquier verbo Usado en el futuro puede ser un futuro bien cercano o cuando usted hizo arreglos con otras personas. O sea, ahí involucra a otras personas. Pero para que no nos confundamos, lo que yo estu estu estoy estudiando, lo que usted tiene que aprender es esto, el going to, para cuestiones que usted ya, ya decidió hacer. I've decided to do it. All right? Por ejemplo, usted mira que sus zapatos se le ensuciaron porque llovió, ¿verdad? Entonces usted le dice a una persona que, que anda ahí, ¿verdad? De Meque y se fijó en que anda usted los zapatos sucios, ¿verdad? <ríe> y le dice, your shoes are dirty. Mire, bien se ensució los zapatos, ¿verdad? O anda chicle, le dicen, ¿verdad? <ríe> y ya se fijó que tiene el chicle pegado. <ríe> Obviamente. Entonces usted le dice, yes, I know. Sí, sí, ya sé, ¿verdad? Ya lo voy a limpiar. I'm going to clean them, right? Ok. Eh, pasa bastante seguido. Entonces, esta es una expresión que usted dice, sí, ya lo voy a hacer para cuestiones así. Por ejemplo, eh, eh, el siguiente, este señor, mire, pasa muy seguido. Hay gente que bien clavada en el teléfono, ni se fija para dónde va, dónde camina. La, el, el siguiente uso es para hacer predicciones, ¿verdad? No como nos tratamos ni nada de eso, <risa> sino... <risa> Sino que va a ser predicciones basándose en la evidencia inmediata que usted tiene. Por ejemplo. Lo que puede pasar. Lo que va a pasar. Si usted mira que está oscuro y está los truenos y todo, viene el agua y de repente la brisita, ¿verdad? Como decían los abuelos, ya va a llover, decían la brisa. Y usted dice, ah, va a llover. Y usted va a decir, it's going to rain. Aquí está el ejemplo, mire. It's going to rain. Ok. It's going to rain. Lo que les decía al principio, ¿verdad? Yo me siento mal, ¿verdad? I feel terrible. Y usted empieza a enumerar, ¿verdad? Y usted como médico, ok, tiene este, este síntoma, tiene otro, tiene lo otro. Ah, que usted le va a dar tal cosa, ¿verdad? Ok. Entonces, ahí usted está anticipándose, ¿verdad? Entonces, ahí está. Es para el futuro. Ok. Usted dice, yo pienso, yo creo, I think I'm going to be sick. Creo que me voy a enfermar. All right. Ok. Um, o sea que en el futuro el verbo nunca va a cambiar. No, porque acuérdese que si el, tú, si el tú va acá, eso lo hace infinitivo Ajá. al verbo. Y el verbo infinitivo es la forma básica. Uh -huh. Lo que usted tiene que tener cuidado, mis portillos, es que cuando usted diga esto, dígalo textualmente. O si usted está segura, va a decirlo de la forma informal, ¿verdad? Gona, ¿verdad? Gona, ¿verdad? Y le voy a compartir aquí la pantalla. Aquí está esto. Eh, las reglas que dimos ayer aquí simples uh -huh. vaya eh, comienza con el sujeto el verbo to be la conjugación del verbo to be el going to siempre va a ir ahí y el verbo en su forma básica más el complemento entonces si usted va a ocupar la forma informal hágalo de, un, de forma hablada no lo escriba porque eso se mira raro uh -huh. y si usted le va a poner así no le va a poner nunca el to a la forma informal ni va a cambiar el verbo. Entonces aquí usted va a decir, I'm going to drive tomorrow. Si usted me puede compartir, no sé, algo que usted va a hacer mañana, no sé, voy a ir al gimnasio quizás, vea. Yeah. Entonces I'm usted gonna, va a decir, I'm going to, uh -huh. I'm going to, uh, no, I'm going to go to gym. The gym, correct. O también puede decir usted, I'm going to go to the gym. Lo que pasa es que si usted uno dice I'm going to, I'm going to, es cansado estar diciendo mm -hmm. eso. Es cansado. Entonces usted va a decir, por, por cuestiones de simplificación, I'm going to go to. En lugar de decir I'm going to, go to the gym. Porque se, se extiende la, lo que va a decir y pierde tiempo. Por eso es que lo ocupan así. All right. Pero el to no lo usemos, por favor. All right. Y cuando, cuando usted... en la forma informal. Exacto. Eh, 
En preguntas usted comienza como cuando le dicen, ¿verdad? Are you hungry? Tiene hambre. Are you happy? Are you tired? Está cansada. Me va a decir yes, ¿verdad? Pero yo la pregunta es, are you going to? Así directo. Are you going to eh, work tomorrow? ¿Va a trabajar mañana? Usted me dice, no. All right. Are you going to wake up early? Se va a levantar temprano. Así va a comenzar. Yes. Are you, right? You can say yes, right? Because I'm going to go to the gym, right? Yes. Um, are you going to rest uh, on Saturday? And you can say yes in the afternoon, right? Or maybe no, right? I'm going to work. Entonces usted se va a ir da dando cuenta de que esta estructura lo ocupamos siempre. Yo les digo, ok, you're going to do this. En exacto, solo es la estructura, ¿verdad? Al final. Que, si que se traduce vas o va. Uh -huh. okay. Eso es, ¿verdad? Okay. No sé si tiene alguna, alguna otra consulta. No. Sí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Creo que con eso. ¿Cómo se ha sentido en este nivel, mis, mis por ti? Fíjese que eso hablaba con los compañeros, con Mr. May, Mr. Frank, que he sentido que en este módulo he aprendido más okay. a traducir. Uh -huh. O okay. sea, entiendo más lo que me están hablando y a la hora de yo leer los párrafos ya voy de una vez Ajá. con la traducción. Uh -huh. ya, no se, ya no se tarda mucho, ¿verdad? En captar el mensaje. Uh -huh. Ajá. Y sí, que dice que, que sí, por sí. los verbos, ¿va? porque hay que aprender un montón de verbos, pero, pero sí, con mi hija me pongo a practicar porque ella, ella sabe mucho. Ay, como los hipotes. Estudió cinco sí. años ella. Uh -huh. ah, sí. En la Academia Europea se graduó, entonces ella, ah. y ahí es bien, casi igual que Insafor es el inglés. Son bien, son bien metódicos. Sí, ajá, son bastante gramáticas, así como. Ajá, ustedes. sí, ahí van. Ellos siguen un, un, un método, de hecho, suben un método. Uh -huh. Entonces, sí, así es. Pero mire, qué bueno que usted ha visto el progreso. Yo también eh, he visto el progreso. Sí, la verdad que sí. Uh -huh. La verdad que sí, porque yo estuve hace dos años, estuve estudiando inglés, quizás por seis meses. O sea, habían cosas, no era tan. Como le me lo dieron así bien escueto no explicaba tanto el teacher entonces ya mejor dejé de estudiar porque más lo que me quitaba tiempo y estar haciendo la del montón de tareas y sentía yo que, que no, pues. no mire es que vaya en el inglés hay que ser práctico usted lo que quiere es entenderle a la gente y tratar de comunicarse y ah, yo sí. pienso que si usted se, su oído se acostumbra con los listenings, este listening que les puse esta noche estaba bien rápido. Sí. Estaba lo para. último no le entendí. Sí, estaba para asustar más que aquí. Y lo que pasa es que ellos decían una cosa, se corregían, decían otra cosa. O sea, no había, no había una secuencia lógica. Sí. Entonces. Y pero, pausas. Y pausas. Y de repente Ajá. hablaba la otra, la otra persona y entonces se quedaba. Pero usted sacó cuatro de cinco, lo sí. cual es, es el 80%. Y para esa rapidez, hasta el oído le vibra. Si usted se pone, hasta le vibra. Sí. <risa> ¿Ok? Sí, sí, Ajá. Sí. Entonces, ya cuando usted me escucha hablar a mí y a sus compañeros, y ya lee la cuesta, ah, era tal cosa, dice usted. Y si mm -hmm. vuelve a escuchar el audio, ¿verdad? Aunque no lea lo que está ahí, usted se va a sacar de una sola vez todo correcto. Ajá. Entonces, y eso es increíble, ¿verdad? Lo que el cerebro puede hacer, por gracia sí. de Dios. Claro, ¿verdad? ¿verdad? Que sí, Entonces, pero sí. yo sí... Sí. La verdad es que estoy satisfecha con el inglés de Insafor. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ya me lo habían dicho. Uh -huh. Me habían dicho porque tengo un amigo que estudió ahí en Insafor hace, hace dos años también, cuando yo empecé. Y me dijo, pasate para Insafor. No, él por el tiempo. Porque yo trabajo todo el día. Y ahí eran los sábados en la mañana. Y yo el sábado de la mañana trabajo. Entonces le dije, no puedo porque por el tiempo, pues, ¿verdad? Y también cuenta que sea intensivo. Imagínese, usted está teniendo 10 horas diarias de contacto con él. Es un montón de tiempo. Sí. Es un montón de tiempo. Y yo, yo trato de hablarles más en inglés. Y si se, se, se fija, ¿verdad? Yo les digo sí. más cosas. Y de repente yo les vuelvo a explicar, ¿verdad? Pero es como que usted, de repente, ¿qué dijo, verdad? Y como se Ajá. queda. Acá. <risa> sí. ¿Verdad? Sí. Uh -huh. Me alegro, la verdad. Así que. Sí, la verdad que sí. Sigamos adelante. 
Y ya mañana, lástima que mañana no se termina el módulo para que nos hubiera quedado la próxima semana, fíjense. Sí, es este, cierto. Pero igual, tenemos el fin de semana largo, este, uh -huh. en parte, ¿verdad? Sí, yo ya terminé todo lo del... Lo de la de plataforma. Las tareas. Ajá, lo de, de la plataforma y es el examen. Uh -huh. Sobre el tiempo de conexión le va quedando ya. Ajá. Entonces, y la, y la encuesta que la hacemos el próximo martes. Así que ánimo sí. y adelante, ¿verdad? Gracias, Tiche, porque también usted bastante que, que nos, ajá, nos da bastante material. Sí, sí, hay, hay que prepararse, el, de eso se trata. Sí. Este, así que, thank you for your punctuality, gracias por su puntualidad, porque yo con dos o tres, como dicen, ¿verdad? Que estén ahí reunidos, me va a quedar un rayo, ¿verdad? pero... <risa> y solo mujeres. <risa> exactly. <¿verdad? risa> sí. Sí, verdad, pero hay que ser, hay que ser constante, de eso se trata. Vea. Así que, hope to see you tomorrow. Ya se nos hizo okay. tarde. Good night. Good night. Goodbye. Goodbye.